Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the City of McAllen. On behalf of City of McAllen, it's a great day in our neighborhood right here. It's Chamber of Commerce weather, as they say. First, I'd like to uh, acknowledge all the very important people in the crowd who make this community move. Our mayor from the City of McAllen, Javier Villalobos. Mayor Pro Tem, Commissioner District 3, the Honorable Omar Quintanilla. Commissioner District 5, the Honorable Victor Sevi Haddad. City Manager, Isaac Tawil. Assistant City Manager, Jeff Johnston. Assistant City Manager, Joe Vera. City Attorney, Austin Stevenson. Chief of Police, Victor Rodriguez. McAllen Library Director, Kate Haran. Parks and Recreation Director, Denny Moline. Public Works Director, Elvira Alonso. Director of Convention Facilities, Yahaira Flores. The women for the McAllen Chamber of Commerce here. Right there, there they, there they are. And the gentlemen too, if you're here. Well, good morning. It's a great day. And without further ado, I'd like to uh, invite McAllen Mayor Javier Villalobos for a few remarks. You know what, if we all put uh, just a little bit of effort, like we're doing today, we can all make McAllen Giants. Thank you all so much for being here. You know, when we started the McAllen Giants initiative, it was an idea that we got from Tampico. We went there and it was amazing, so clean, so everything we thought, if Tampico can do it, we can too. So we came back with this idea, si Tampico puede, if, if, if Tampico Bria McAllen Giants, and we took it. We took it to the commission, we took it to our uh, former city manager, and we came up with the idea. Well, no, we didn't. We stole it from Tampico. But anyway, <laughs> it was about changing the culture of the way we are, the way we live, from our, our commercial areas to residential, to schools, to everything about changing the culture of the way we think, the way we are, from cleaning your curves, landscaping such as this, to having pride in your community and pride in yourself, being respectful towards one another. It was, and it is, an initiative that will take some time, <clears throat> but will be amazing. And we hope that once we make McAllen truly, truly shine, the rest of the Rio Grande will, will follow, and they usually do. So we're very excited today because we have for the first ever McAllen Giants Community Champion Award. And I guess it's no surprise because the individual receiving this award really I don't think was moved by McAllen Chines because he already exemplified what McAllen Chines is. If you look at his buildings, if you look at this Nolana Towers, the landscaping, the parking, this is what we're talking about. This is what we, yes, this is what we're talking about here in our, our commercial buildings, our residential uh, residences, our schools, we had to have pride in our community. Mr. Kanzu, thank you so much for having pride in McAllen, and thank you so much for everything you have done for our community. Everybody, like I said, juntos. If we all just put a little bit of effort, we can make McAllen shine. Thank you. It's always about doing the right thing. Our next speaker is um, McAllen City Manager Ike Tawil to talk about programs that make McAllen shine. Good morning, everybody. Uh, let, me, let me start by thanking the mayor, our, our city commission, all of our elected officials, all the staff that come out and, and really empower us to do what we do. We're, we're so appreciative of your effort. And I'm gonna echo what the mayor said, Mr. Cantu, Alonso. Um, 
how, how fitting that, that a, a, a product of McAllen um, stays here so civic driven, um, willing to invest in this community, your, your labor, your effort to, to make this community, to make McAllen so much better, to give back. Um, if that's your beacon, you will be successful. And what a testament to McAllen Shines to be here with somebody like you today. Uh, we're, we're honored. Thank you, sir. One of the most striking things about McAllen Shines is how tangible its results are. You can see the results throughout our city from our parks and green spaces and businesses and shared community spaces. McAllen Shines has created tangible changes in our city in just this short time. I am proud to work with the team McAllen has, with, with our team here in McAllen and empowered our residents to make McAllen shine with programs that laid the foundation to even more things to come. A shining example of the work is our Refresh 5050 program, which provides matching funds to local businesses to renovate and beautify their storefronts. We created Imagine Tomorrow, a program to revitalize McAllen neighborhoods by forging partnerships between environmental health and code enforcement department and local organizations to incentivize renovating or replacing older homes for our, re for our residents. Team McAllen launched Project Clean Neighborhoods to provide cost-free roll-off units to safely dispose of old refuse. And of course, everyone involved with Keep McAllen Beautiful can take pride in seeing the clean city that we've made so beautiful. Created changes in over 200 irrigation standpipes across our city, painted by local artists, transforming them into beautiful pieces of art. I thank everyone who helped create these positive changes in McAllen, from the city teams that helped to launch them to the residents who have made them their own. Thank you for working so hard to improve our residents' quality of life and making McAllen shine. I'd like to call up uh, McAllen Public Works Director Elvira Alonso and McAllen Shines Marketing Coordinator Sarah Cepeda up next to uh, talk about the Community Champion Award. Uh, McAllen Public Works is one of those hardest working departments at the city of McAllen. If they don't pick up your trash, you call them and it's picked up. But usually we don't get that complaint. Uh, they always do a great job for our city and all you have to do is look around and you know they're at work. So Elvira. Thank you, Roy. Thank you, Mayor, Commissioners, Ike. Thank you so much. Isn't this a beautiful morning? We are so blessed. Thank you. Uh, thank you also to the public works staff, park staff, and all the departments that work together to make this event possible. Thank you very, very much. And the McAllen Shines Committee, there was a committee that was formed of 13 members within the city to make um, all our hard work, hard effort in making McAllen shine a true success. So thank you very much, committee members, as well. Our staff, we work really hard behind the scenes, so thank you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for embracing what we do. Today, we are here to recognize a McAllen community champion whose work has made lasting positive changes in the city. This community champion has changed the face of McAllen over the years through projects big and small, but that have taken a complete body of work shows how much a city can grow in one lifetime. This community champion has shown the McAllen Shine spirit by carefully considering the way people will interact with their public spaces and take care of create, to create places that feel warm, open, and welcoming. Our community champion provides essential services for our residents like banking, healthcare, housing, and entertainment. And with those services, our community champion created opportunities for the people of McAllen and the Rio Grande Valley. Our McAllen Shines community champion has worked to help people and improve our quality of life because they believe in our cause to take pride in who we are and where we live. Today, I will ask them to take step a step forward and be recognized as an integral 
McAllen Shines Community Champion, Alonso Cantu, will you please join us on the stage as we present this award? This is a little one. <laughs> Thank you. On behalf of the city of McAllen, we would like to recognize you as a McAllen Champion Award. You are a true champion for our community and a shining example of what of doing the right thing. Woo, congratulations. congratulations, sir. Congratulations. Thank you so much. A few words, Andale. Uh, I'm not a good speaker, but I want to thank the city of McAllen, the mayor, and the commissioners. Uh, other than going to school at the University of Houston for a few years, I, I was born and raised here, and I came here. And I think McAllen still number one, but we need to continue being number one because the other cities are kicking our butt at there every now and then. So you need to stay focused and have more things like this throughout the city of McAllen. Thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. It is truly an honor to stand here today among so many passionate and dedicated members of our community. My name is Sarah Zabella. I'm the marketing coordinator for McAllen Shines, a wonderful initiative created by our mayor and our commissioners and led by Ms. Alonso, so thank you for your support. I'm thrilled to share what it means to be a community champion and why we are recognizing the incredible contributions of Mr. Cantu today. Mr. Cantu, you exemplify everything it means to be a community champion through his dedication to community beautification, mentorship, and support of veterans. He has demonstrated time and time again his love for this community. Through his consistent willingness to lend a helping hand, he has shown us all the true impact one person can have. And he doesn't do it alone. I would also like to thank his team at Lone Star National Bank, DHR Health, Cantu Construction and Development Company, Valley Land and Title Company, the Rio Grande Valley Vipers, and many more. We all look forward to meeting the next community champion, but first, we will look forward to celebrating the holidays by counting down to the lighting of this marvelous tree behind me to commemorate, our, commemorate the holidays and celebrate our first awardee, Mr. Cantu. So let's get our countdown started. If you guys can count down for me. Five, four, three, two, one. McAllen Shines, congratulations, Mr. Kanthu. Thank you all for celebrating with us. We look forward to our next community champion. Have a wonderful morning, thank you.